Steph Sawney here for Queensbury Promotions. I'm joined by one of my favourite boxers, Dennis McCann. How you doing? I'm all good, you? I'm good. All the better for that little wink that you just gave me to start the interview. Oh, yeah, he always says that. <laughs> he always says that, doesn't he? Dennis, what's that? Can you hear that? What? Is that the sound of wedding bells ringing? <laughs> well, I understand you're engaged. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm engaged. I'm off and I. How did it all come about? I've been going out with her for a long time now and... Um, Obviously, she loves me and I love her, so it happened, didn't it? It just happened. And how, how does it work? Because oh, I, I was asking you off camera, like, did you drop to a knee kind of thing? Something presumably you don't want to ever do in your actual career. But how does it work when um, in your community? How did you propose? I'm not really a romantic kind of guy, you know what I mean? So, oh yeah, we both we both thought about it for a while now and um, we both agreed to do it. And, that's, and then that's just the way it happened, didn't it? It just happened. So it just sort of happens, you just sort of say, do you fancy it? And she says, yeah, all right. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so when's the wedding? I'm not too sure yet. I'm not, I don't have a clue yet. I'll have a chat about it and um, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that one. Do you think that you'll be uh, sort of involved in, you know, sorting out venues and stuff, or are you just going to let her crack on? She can crack on. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be training every day, you know what I mean? So I have no time, no time for a laugh. I'll just be training. She can, she can, she can do all that. All right, now let's talk boxing. More important matters at hand, more, huh? More important matters than, than any woman. <laughs> you got another win, November thirtieth, Midlands Mayhem. How do you look back on that performance? Uh, I box, all right, boxed box well. I give away was it seven pound? I give away seven pound in weight to an experienced, experienced fighter as well. Seven pounds, a lot of weight, as we all know. And um, I box all right. I box well. A bit, I've had a lot of fights so far. You know what I mean? So. I, so I was a bit tired. I was a bit tired, like you know what I mean. The, all the long camps I've had and stuff. So I recovered over Christmas. Went had a nice a bit of vitamin D and I went on holiday. And I am um, I'm recharged, ready to go again. I can't wait to, to put people out in the same fashion I've been doing. When you hurt him, because that, that, that's what I remember. You hurt the guy in the first round, and you just jumped on him. Did you know as soon as you punched him that he, you were going to have that effect? I know as soon as I land on most people's chin that I love that effect. Obviously you get the odd fighter that just gets through but I think I've got, I've got power in both hands and I'm a, I'm a bantamweight. Not a lot of people that watch a bantamweight because they're boring. And, I'm, and I, I think personally I'm so excited that the, the, the public's so excited about me as well. You know what I mean? So I want to keep showing the fans and public what they want to see is knockouts and that's what I'm going to keep delivering. There was a big knockout in your division on that show. Bit of an upset, actually. John Real Casemiro defeated Zelani Tete. Did you catch it? Yeah, definitely. It was a good, it was a good, it was a good shot, wasn't it? What, what did you think? Oh, I, th- I think Casemiro is an unreal fighter. He's just a great fighter, isn't he? He's, um, a couple of years' time, I think he'd probably be retired if I'm up there, but I'd fancy it, mate. I'd fancy it in a couple of years. You fancy John Real Casemiro? Oh, I, fancy, I fancy him all, not just yeah. him. In a couple of years, I do. Yeah, I'm maturing more into a man. I'll take him all on. This guy's an animal. He's a monster. He's just knocked out Tete, right? Flash. He's he's done Charlie Edwards as well. How do you fight someone like that? I, I ain't watched too much of John Murray Casimiro. Um, obviously, he's a strong, strong, strong fighter. I don't know. I think I just had to f- just um, if I was in a fight, I'd obviously watch videos and stuff. I'd, I'd, I'd meet me me trainer. We'd tell me exactly what to do, and I'd bring that into the fight. But we're talking ahead here now, aren't we? <laughs> we're talking ahead here now for what? Yes. Ask, we'll, me, ask me that question in two years. I'll be here. I'll be asking you that. One thing I will ask you: you had a FaceTime the other night with Prince Nassim Hamid. The next Nas spoke to the real Nas. How did that go? Yeah, good. Yeah, it was in the restaurant. I couldn't hear him too well, but I know he's son and stuff. He's a nice guy and stuff. And he FaceTime me. I blew. A bit shocked to be honest. Nice man though. Really nice man. And what? And what a fighter. Great fighter. Did he give you any advice? I couldn't be, I, the restaurant, it was, it was ringing me back, but I couldn't really hear him in the restaurant. But then um, I, I was talking to him, I, was, I had a crack, I reckon, who's got the best screw shot? Mm. <laughs> he started laughing. So presumably that, that call's going to be rearranged and you, uh, you'll probably meet up at some point, huh? If you've got mutual kind of friends? Yeah, definitely. I know his son as well, so as I said already, I'll probably have a link up on the day, isn't it? Yeah. So that's Prince Naz. What about Prince Patel? Now, he put up a post the other day, I think he was celebrating a, a knockout of the year with, with a sanctioning body, and you commented underneath, you said something like, well, come and fight me. He didn't reply. What do you think of Prince Patel? I think he's all right, he's not a bad fighter. He's just, he's not, wait, listen, it's, it's, I want that fight because it's good for my career, you know what I mean? Not have anything against him. No one likes him, 
personally I don't mind him I, f- I think he's okay like, he never did something wrong to me I, I actually like him I think he's he's quite a nice guy to be honest but business is business let's lace up them gloves and get in there and I'll show them how it's done I'm sure how the real men do it why do you think he didn't reply to your message on Twitter he don't fancy it does he do you think he fancies it I'm not sure I'm not sure. I mean, the absence of a reply is quite telling. Usually he does a pri- reply as well, doesn't he? So it's the first time I've never seen him reply, to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to make the fight because it'd be good for my career. I'm, not, I'm, I'm 125% sure that I'll, I'll, I'll win in, in unbelievable fashion. In un- un- great fashion. Perhaps a stoppage, I don't know. But in very good fashion. That's the reason why it's good for my career. I have nothing against him, as I said already, so... Let's just make it happen. Even by the end of the year, if he, even now, if I wonder, but if he can, if he will fight like, but by the end of the year, and uh, make make the fight make the fight bigger, I'm very very happy to fight him. I'd be happy, very happy. All right. Well, let's hope the boxing gods look down kindly and give us that fight. I noticed you. You said you weren't beefing with Patel. You were beefing with Louis Norman. Talk me through that. Oh, he was giving me a bit of sticky, was not he? <laughs> I've seen him banter in it, but uh, he, he called me out before before the Chris Borg fight. Saying, I think he said I have no defence and all this crack but um, just pff, listen, the, the, listen the, the, the old, the old talk, talk but can they walk the walk I know I can walk the walk and half of them fighters out there can't walk the walk and I know that so to be honest I've just got back into camp now I, I'll be very I'm fighting right now the second in my life would. that's how confident I'll be very confident I'll stop him within three rounds personal opinion I have nothing against him I would whoop his ass big time big style on Twitter, you called him a sausage, which is something I don't hear very often from boxers. Well done. Yeah, a bad one, was it? A good one. <laughs> that was all right. All right, so we've talked about Patel, we've talked about Prince Naz, we've talked about Louis Norman. Tell me, have you got any New Year's resolutions, Dennis McCann? Just keep knocking them out. I've only I had five, I had five fights, four knockouts. This year, I won at least six fights, six knockouts. I'm not happy with the one knockout and the knockout. That's all right. My, that's my New Year revolution. We wish you every luck in the world. Good to see you again, mate. Thank you very much.